welcome to RLD Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss this problem. And this problem appeared in GATE ECE 2014. It is about multi stage amplifier, voltage amplifier. We have two stage voltage amplifier. This is one stage A1, second one is A2. They are cascaded one after another, and at the end, one load is connected RL. And for this amplifier, this gain, input impedance and output impedance is given. Similarly for A2, again its gain, input impedance and output impedance are provided. We need to find out the overall voltage gains means B out upon B in this ratio. Okay, we will try to solve this problem. Before that we need to understand what is the model for this voltage amplifier of a single stage. That we have discussed in previous video. Here again we will repeat it quickly. So this is one voltage amplifier. This is your VI input voltage. This is output voltage. For this amplifier its gain should be provided. It is ideal voltage gain. Means in no load condition there is no load is connected. No source is connected. Simply V0 upon VI. This ratio could be considered as AV. And then we need to consider its input impedance looking from input side. Similarly, the output impedance from output side. Okay, so this Ri, R0, AV, these three parameters should be there with the voltage amplifier. Now we can consider the model. So this, this side is input voltage Vi, this side output voltage V0. Now first we will draw this input resistance Ri here to the input side. So this is your Ri and the voltage across Ri is Vi and depending on this voltage Vi we will get the voltage gain. Okay, Output voltage will be available in the output side. So this will be Av times Vi. Av is the voltage gain and Vi is the potential across Ri. So this is one dependent voltage source. Voltage dependent voltage source we will consider here. It will provide one voltage depending on the voltage across Ri. Then at the end we will add this resistance or not output resistance in series with the voltage source. Be careful here, always connect a series resistance with the voltage source. Okay, So R0 should be connected here. So this is the simplified model, one input impedance or resistance Ri, then one voltage gain AV, so that one will give you one dependent source, voltage source and one series resistance R0. Okay? Now for double stage amplifier, again we can have one model for this one, another model for this one. Now we will consider this problem. Now in this problem, these are the specification given. Okay, this for A1 and A2. You can see for A1, this voltage gain is given 10. So AV1 I will call it 10. And input resistance is 10 kilo ohm. So our IN1, I will consider 10 kilo ohm. Okay, and R naught is one kilo ohm, so I'll call it R naught one as one kilo ohm. Similarly, for voltage amplifier two, this A two, the gain is five, input impedance is five kilo ohm, this one, and output resistance is two hundred ohm only. Okay, now one load is connected, so I'll connect this load. Okay, now we need to find out this V naught upon V i this overall voltage gain we have to find out. So first we will replace this voltage amplifier by this model. This is your input impedance 10k. This is your gain 10. So 10 times Vi. Here I will consider it is, if it is V1, it is 10 times V1 and output resistance 1 kilo ohm in series. Similarly here it is a 5k input resistance. Then it is gain 5, 5 into V2 and then 200 ohm resistance, output resistance. Now we need to connect, they are cascaded one after another. So I need to connect it, okay. Again I need to connect one load. So this is your actual VI. Here I have connected and I have connected one load RL with one kilo ohm, okay. So voltage V0 is exactly the output voltage across the load. Now we need to find out this V0 upon Vi. We need to calculate this ratio. So how to find? 
it is very simple it is not difficult now first we we'll look at the input side this first part this is your vi now source resistance is not provided okay so this voltage vi will appear across 10 ohm 10 kilo ohm resistance that means v1 is same as vi so this is important because there is no source resistance no potential trough division okay then we will consider second stage this one okay now this is one loaf this is one source 10 v1 one dependent source this is one one kilo ohm resistance another one is five kilo ohm resistance they are connected in series now we need to find out v2 with respect to this v1 okay the relation with v1 so here this is the source voltage and this is one potential divider so potential across 5 ohm we can calculate this self resistance 5k upon total resistance 1k plus 5k okay so that k i can i may not write it because this is 10 to the 3 here also 10 to the 3 it will be cancelled out okay just i write it is 5 upon 1 plus 5 this is the division factors times the supply voltage is 10 v1 so this is based on potential divider circuit that that thing i have discussed in detail in my previous videos in circuit theory okay so if you simplify it you will get 5 into 10 50 upon 6 times v1 similarly we can go for the this part this is the source again one potential divider voltage v0 we can calculate as this resistance upon total resistance times this supply voltage so this resistance is 100 ohm because this is in ohm i need to consider this in ohm so 1 kilo ohm equals to 1000 ohm so 1000 upon 200 plus 1000 this is the factor this is times 5 v2 okay so if you simplify it this is 10000 by 1200 okay so if you simplify 10 into 5 is 50 and it is now 12 so 50 by 12 into v2 now we need to find out v0 upon vi so v0 i have got in terms of v2 v2 already we have expressed in terms of v1 again v1 is nothing but vi so it's very simple to consider this or find this v0 in terms of vi so v0 is simply this 50 by 12 times v2 v2 i can replace by 50 by 6 into v1 okay and then v1 is same as vi so if you simplify it this this two simplification is 25 by 6 this is your 25 by 3 and this is simply vi so v0 by vi that is simple 50 25 25 is 625 upon 6 into 3 13 so if you simplify it you will get 34.7 so overall voltage gain is 34.7 so whenever you will have two stage multiplication you can see that overall voltage gain is reduced because in open loop condition an ideal combination of input impedance and output impedance it may get 10 into 5 is 50 but in this case we have got less voltage lesser voltage gain and here it is 34.7 that is because of the mismatch in loading effect okay so i hope you have understood this problem and if you enjoyed this one you may please like button and if you want to get this kind of video in future you may subscribe the channel thanks for watching